Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to carry on with the actual design. So we open up Photoshop and we can see in front of us that we've got this featured section here. So we're going to change up slightly, I think I've said before. So we've got, we'll have a featured image here and then this portion here will be where we have the login uh, controls. So this section will probably be different on every page so we can have different featured content and then if we come down a bit further all of this content is going to be completely different on every single page so now we need to add in some content placeholders and we also need to create a div for this bottom portion here so if we go over to visual web developer and if we go into the source of the master page just below the closing featured here we're going to create another div so the name of the div is going to be div with an ID we'll call this main content um, bottom so we know that's the bottom of the main content again we just need to create our comment as usual so this is going to be main content bottom so we've now created that so just create a bit of space so we now need to style this, so if we go to the style sheet and we want to add this just below the main content here so I'm going to give it the following styling so the width just be 100% so it stretches all the way across the height will be set to auto so if we just preview that in the master page and go to the design you can now see we've got another div here which is stretching 100% across the page and it's set to auto at the moment so it's dead small because there's nothing inside of it uh, what I do want to do is just give it some margin on the top um, to move it away from these two divs so if we go back to the style sheet and we're going to say margin top of 20 pixels and save that and you can now see it's been kicked away by tw uh, 20 pixels now so we've got that in position so we need to now add something called a content placeholder so at the moment we've been adding all of these elements onto the master page so um, these are all the elements that will be on every single page but the contents of this div the featured image will probably be different on each page the content of this div is definitely going to be different on every single page so what we need to do if we come over here to the right hand to the left hand side you've got something called uh, toolbox so if you click that and then click the pin uh, then that will then snap it in position so as you can see we've got all these different sorts of controls and uh, buttons and, and check boxes and that's all that good stuff the thing we're looking for is this content placeholder here just underneath the check box list so I'm just going to grab one of these and I'm going to drag it into this featured image div and let go I'm going to grab another one and I'm going to drag it into the main content bottom div we just created so I've now added two into there so now that we've done that if we open up the default.aspx page like this so here's the code for it, it's not much code in it at the moment and we go to the design view you can, if I just collapse this for a second you can now see we've got all of our design with all the elements we've created in the master page and when you put your mouse over those elements uh, you get like a, a warning sort of sign you can't actually edit any of that which is good because we don't want to edit that but we've got two white lines here uh, where we've just added those content placeholders so now this gives us the ability to add uh, custom information into the default page and when we create other pages we'll have that same ability so I hope I explained that well um, so what we need to do, we click the little arrow here and click on create custom content and that's now enabled this content placeholder to be editable and again, so if we go back to, so we go, if we go to the source of the default page you can now see it's added in this uh, content ASP control here and it's basically referring back to the content placeholder 1 which is on the, the master page, so if I go to the master page and go to the source here is our content placeholder one which is inside of the featured image so if I just select all this and open up the design you can now see this is the portion we're targeting and if I go back to the default page 
and again I need to do this one as well so I'm going to click on that and click create custom content that's now enabled that one to be editable as well so if I just come up if I click on this one here the the name's not very descriptive it's basically called content placeholder one uh, which isn't the best so if we go back to the master page and go to the source so for here content placeholder one we're going to we'll change this and we'll call this uh, featured image content holder I think that's a bit more descriptive now so we know what that is so I'll save that with control s and go back to the default page and you'll see we get an error straight away because we haven't changed the name uh, that it's referring to in here so to fix that all we do is go to source and here's the first content placeholder thing here so we need to change this text to what we just created so featured content placeholder I think I called it and save that and go to design nope so I must have spelled it incorrectly so what I'll do I'll just copy it here so featured image content holder and if I go to the source here I'll just paste that over the top hit save go back to the design and you can now see it's come back and uh, now that we've changed the name and they, they both match up so I'm just going to do the same for this one here so if we go back to the master page and if we come down to here uh, and I'm going to paste what we had in before from the top one so featured image and I'm just going to change this to main content bottom holder so we know which one that belongs to I'm going to copy that so we don't have any errors in it like we did last time so we need to change this if we click on that it takes you straight to the code uh, so you can edit it and we just need to change this here so I'm going to paste that into here and then hit save and if we go back to the design you can now see we're back to how we were and we've got now we've now got more descriptive uh, names for these content placeholders so this one here as I said is featured image content holder and this one here is main content bottom holder so it's just easier now to figure out what's what later on when the design gets a bit more complicated so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave the video here for now in the upcoming episodes I will show you how to create the additional pages um, for like the register password resets all that sort of thing uh, also there'll be more other videos coming up about how to actually set up the different roles for the website so for example an administrator role like basically like a group um, user groups like a, a power users group or moderators group uh, and then how to set up the database so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video